At the top tonight, tragic developments from City Hall, where a woman died after climbing into an air conditioning chiller. Authorities tell 3 News that surveillance video shows a woman believed to be homeless had been trying to get into City Hall beginning around 6 this morning. She was reportedly able to get into that secured area, climbing into the cooling unit where she fell. Our Michael Gibson is here tonight with details on how it all happened. Michael. City manager Peter Zanoni says the woman actually snuck in behind a city work truck, which was entering that loading dock area through a secured gate there. The driver simply did not notice the woman and just a few moments she would be dead after climbing that chiller unit and falling into the mechanism. Firefighters were called in to remove the body of a suspected homeless woman who had climbed onto the top of the AC chilling unit outside of City Hall and fell inside to her death. City Manager Peter Zanoni says the woman had been trying to get into City Hall since 6 a.m. Eventually, she snuck in behind a city truck driving into this secured loading dock and got to that chiller. Uh, we do have security here at City Hall and they could see the event happening as well. Uh, and, uh, and, and called the police uh, when, the, when the situation was taking place. The, the event of climbing the ladder into the, into the area where the, the top of the, of the cooling tower, that all spanned within just a few minutes. Now, after the fire department had removed the body, we asked how far she'd actually fallen and how hard it was to get her out. It was not too difficult. It was, uh, not, it's not very deep in there. It was more of a reach over and, and uh, to, get her, to get the body out. Was it mostly intact? The body? Yeah. Yes. We climbed those same steps the woman did to take a look inside of the unit, and this is what we found. It's a very small enclosure, but with huge blades that were turning at a rapid speed when she ended up inside here. It has uh, two massive turbines with big, big blades that have high power velocity to spin to pre-cool the water. So it's quite possible the blades probably uh, were, the, uh, were the cause of death. That's the incident why. caused a total the, shutdown of the AC system, system and City Hall employees were told they could work from home. But the city secretary and utility building offices remained open for business here on the first floor. Of course, Corpus Christi police were on the scene this morning and they told 3 News that, of course, there is no criminal investigation at this time over this incident. Mike Leslie.